Welcome to this tutorial for advanced mode. You're almost to the point of unlocking untold business potential using the power of our groundbreaking AI. But there are a couple rules to keep in mind and a little bit of experimentation required on your side to get this up and running. So let's dive in. Firstly, the results of our AI depends on a lot of factors, such as lighting, the bone structure in your face, camera quality, and so much more. Follow these tips to get the best results possible. Although, you will still need to experiment. The average user records about three or four templates before they get one that AI really works well with. So don't get discouraged if the AI doesn't generate a perfect result on your first template. Here's what you can do to maximize your results. One, be at least five feet from the camera. This works. This works. This does not work. This works. Two, make sure you're recording in high quality. If your webcam doesn't have good quality, use your iPhone instead. Three, make sure you have soft, even light across your face. It's even better if it's a little bit dim. Don't have any hard, direct lighting on your face. Four, make sure there's no background noise, that your voice is crisp and clear. And five, make sure your video is at least 45 seconds long, so we have enough data of your voice to do our voice cloning. For advanced mode, Speak your variables out loud. For example, hey first name, how's it going? This is Dawn with Be Human. I wanted to get in touch. I see you're in city and I would love to chat. You need to keep your variables in short phrases. For example, in the phrase, hey name, our variable is name, but our phrase is the full phrase, hey name. Make sure the phrases that your variables in are short. Another example, I see you're in city is a very short phrase with the variable being city, so that works. A bad example is, hey first name, I hope all is well. I see you're in city, I would love to talk to you about company. That's a bad example because we have a very long phrase with multiple variables in it. Keep your phrases short with just one variable per phrase. A phrase is marked by a pause at the beginning and a pause at the end. Here's an example of a script with two variables. Hey name. Hope you're doing well. This is Donna B. Human. I wanted to reach out because I have something really interesting for you. We're changing the game, especially in industry, and I would love to tell you about our work, and so on and so forth. The most important thing to remember is that you have to experiment. You're gaining access to the world's most groundbreaking video AI. Is it perfect? No. Does it require a couple tries to get up and running? Yes. But once you get there, you'll have a video that you can scale to tens of thousands of people. You'll be able to unlock incredible results, including two times the open rate, seven times the click-through rate, and four times conversions compared to what you were getting before with text. I'm including a link to some user samples here. Click this link to watch some videos by our users to see what kind of quality is possible with Behemoth if you put in the time to experiment. And as always, you can use our live chat at the bottom right corner of your screen to ask us any questions. If you need some tips and pointers, share your video template with us. We'd be more than happy to help. So put in the time, take the leap, and I promise you, it'll be worth it.